Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and this is Mail Monday, a weekly series that's not so much about the gameplay, but instead is about your questions and my answers to them. Let's do this. Hey Woody, love your videos. You deserve each and every subscriber plus more for your hard work and superb content. Well, thank you. I know this is a common theme for Mail Monday, but this seems special to me because it affects me. Who would have thought? <laughs> I like this guy. I'm friend zoned from this girl, and I have a biggest crush on her forever. So yeah, friend zoning. And I know I've talked about this. I'm gonna try and talk about it better than I've ever had before, and then just drop the topic for a couple of months. I've asked her to homecoming in September, and we went, but the day after she made it clear that we were just friends. We text a lot now, and I've tried to convince myself that the feelings that I have for her are just that of friendship, but to no avail. Because every time I tell myself this, I just end up contemplating her perfection, and how every guy is in head over heels for her like I am. I I just want her to know that I still like her, but do it in a way that doesn't seem pushy or overattached so that she does grow feelings for me. I can know. I know making it to Mail Monday is a real stretch, but even a simple reply would mean the world to me. Keep up the awesome work, a loyal sub. And then he had his name, but I cut that stuff off because that's not cool. Anyway, let's do this. All right, first of all, all of us have been where you are right now right know that but where you are is totally beyond reason right you've been fixated on one person for so long your emotions are overwhelming and you've completely lost perspective on everything this is like the classic case of the friend zone your next step in this relationship is movement in almost any direction is better than where you are right now. I don't know how old you are. I imagine you to be uh, in high school, which for Americans means between like 14 and 18. So I don't want you to spend all these years fixated on this one girl who may not be returning these same feelings. You probably think to yourself, but no other girl is as acceptable. And again, please listen to me, man. There are other fish in the sea, and where you are is beyond reason. She is actually a normal person, and if you were to get her, it would just be a couple of months before you realize, yeah, you know, she's cool and everything. There's lots of cool people out there. But I was a little bit crazy thinking that, you know, this was the most wonderful thing in the world. And if you do date her and maintain these feelings, it's not a healthy relationship to have that kind of power imbalance. The kind where one person is head over heels in love with the other and the other person is like, eh, you know, he was cool and he was nice to me. So I kind of said yes. But if you're in it to win it, if you're in this thing for like the long haul and and she's not then that's not good you need movement in this relationship in one direction or the other but you cannot stay here and that's what you're doing you are staying here forever and and as bad as it feels to endure the i don't know getting dumped that could possibly happen as bad as it feels as you know, recognizing that this thing is never going to be what you want it to be, assuming that it's never going to be what you want it to be, then it's still a positive step in a forward direction towards finding someone who's just as awesome and who loves you back. I, I was touching on it before, like this idea of the power ship uh, relationship imbalance here. You know, the, assuming she doesn't feel as super strongly in love with you as you do with her, one person's going to be smothered and that smothered person ends up losing the attraction and the passion and starts to withdraw from the relationship. Heck, I did one the other day where a girl was in this position where she's like, I want to break up with a nice guy. She just didn't have the same kind of you know, love for you or love for him that, that he had for her. And um, that's where you are, man. You know, like it, you can make one more run at this thing if you want to. My prediction is that you don't get what you're hoping for out of it. But, you know, you don't want to live a life of regret where, you know, maybe there was a shot and you didn't try it. But what you really, really need is to make this thing move from where it is. Because the spot you're in is not win. I have a glass eye and I'm forever alone. Hey Woody, I'm a 15 year old sophomore. I think we do it differently abroad. You're right, uh, sophomore's second year in high school, they're about 15 years old. So anyway, back to the letter. I was born with a green eye and a blue eye and I can't see out of the blue eye. So when I got older, I got a glass eye to cover the blue eye to make it look like I have two green eyes. Everyone in school knows, so no one would date me. I've been best friends with someone for a while now, and I made a move, but she said she wanted to stay friends. So I was like, damn, but she's one of my best friends now. There's this girl I like, but nobody knows it. I don't want to ask her out because I laugh when I get nervous, and I would be laughing my ass off with her. 
I know you're going to tell me to get my friends to say I like her, but if I do, they laugh at me. I tried with a different girl and they laughed at me. I was thinking I should be her secret admirer and eventually re reveal myself. I don't know what to do because no one's ever gone out with me. I've asked a few people, but they say no. I don't think I've ever have a girlfriend with... I don't think I will ever find a girlfriend with the glass eye, and it costs $35 million to get the surgery done to get two eyes. That's what my Canadian friend said to me. He has the same problem, but he has a girlfriend. I don't know what to do. Please respond. I don't know. I don't mind if you respond in a letter or mail Monday. I know this is tough to answer and it's not sex related. <laughs> and it's okay if you don't respond. And finally, he asks in the next gen of consoles if I'll play the Xbox 720 or the PS4. Um, I'll probably get them both. As far as what I play, I'm not really loyal to consoles. I'm loyal to my friends. So, you know, whichever ones my friends are playing, I'll be playing with them. That That's kind of how I do it. Finally, on the glass eye thing, right? You'd think this was an uncommon question, but it's really not. The, the truth is there are, it seems like every day somebody writes to me with a problem that falls in this category. Heck, just this week, I had a guy with Tourette syndrome say that he's forever alone. I had a guy with one arm write to me and say that he's forever alone and he's having problems socially you know, because people view him as differently or not whole. And then I have you, a guy with... um one, I guess, normal eye and one, uh, you know, eye that doesn't match and it doesn't work and such. So, you know, what do you do about this stuff? And, and like, you know, I, I, this is probably isn't the answer you're looking for. One thing that comes to mind, though, is this gets way better. It gets better. You are 15 years old right now. You are probably at the absolute peak year of people judging harshly. That's the thing, right? You know, when you hit 18, they'll be a little more mature and better to cope, better able to cope with it. When you were in kindergarten, people had an easier time dealing with other people like who maybe have special needs, like like my son does. Um, you know, we've we've discovered with him, like when he's five, everyone's totally cool and accepting and whatever. You know, when whenever this concept of like coolness fits in, then um, you know the judging gets harsher and everything gets a little more difficult. You're 15. There is not going to be a year tougher than this for the quote-unquote coolness factor, right? Even your senior year in high school, people will be a little more chill about, you know, what they require in a friend. And the physical side of it is going to be a whole lot less than it is now. That's that's the good news. It gets better. And, and I'm, I'm sorry to go off on this for too long, but that it gets better concept applies to every aspect of not fitting in perfectly well, right? That maybe you're gay, right? You know, you're not, obviously, you're a guy who likes girls. But, um, you know, if there's someone out there and they're gay and they're having a hard time dealing socially because they're just wired that way, dude, that gets better. You know, when come college, people are hardly going to care. And then when you're a grown up, you know, it, it, people will care even less. It, it'll be a much better thing. And you know, glass eye business, I'm telling you, if I had a coworker with a glass eye, I, I, zero just doesn't seem to fully describe how little I care that you only have one working eye. Like I, it, it doesn't even register on grown ups radar for stuff like that. You know, are you mildly overweight? Who gives a crap? You know, like, I, I don't sit there and judge people by their bellies. Like, you know, that's not how grown-ups work. You are going to find a better place in your life. And that's not just the friendship stuff. That's also the girl stuff, you know. Right now, maybe some 15-year-old girl values whatever, matching eyes to be some high priority. But that doesn't stick. You know, what actually sticks, it'll get to a point where girls start judging guys on money. I'm just kidding about that. <laughs> well, it's partly kidding about it, but, you know, we'll start judging guys on the complete package, right? You know, what do they offer, uh, you know, as a boyfriend, as a potential husband? What do they offer, you know, like, what is the rest of the package that comes with dating this guy? How nice are they going to be? What is my life going to be like with this guy? And double eyes is not going to be like you know the big thing on their radar that's just the deal and i know you can boost these things now i didn't know it when i got this gameplay so backing off of the generic dude trust me you know whatever thing you have about you that is your that's on your mind making you feel like you'll be forever alone it's not forever alone it gets better on to the specifics 
of what to do with this girl when you're nervous to ask her out is just try. Don't say, I laugh when I get nervous, therefore I'm not going to do this. That is the formula for a life of regret. What you actually need to do is put yourself out there. Practice in the mirror if you have to. Get your lines down and invite her to some sort of activity so that you can spend some time with her. And do not have your entire sense of self-worth wrapped up in this one girl's response. Getting girls is a volume game, baby. And, uh, you know, ask out more than one until you get one. Best of luck, man. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like. If you're new and you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe in the top right. Two you may have missed on the left. <laughs> they're both kind of similar, actually. On the left, I talk about a new console that's coming by Valve, the Steam Box. And on the right, I talk about a new console that's coming, the PlayStation 4. I've uh, I done my research. I, I got my news right. And uh, for those of you who say I'm wrong about the graphics card in the PS4, nope, you're wrong, baby. I'm right. <laughs> have a good day.